What's up, what's up? This is David Just Love, man. Oh, uh, yeah, I am back at you again, straight up with this stuff. You know what I mean? Salute to all you guys out there. Well, you know how I go. It is what it is, man. You know, in life, you can always argue and stuff like that. Bring it back. Okay, you can fuss, argue, talk that stuff to each other. That's cool. You know, you can look away, disagree to agree. But don't take, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Just gonna keep it moving. But sometimes, you also can get in a confrontation with someone that you, of course, love. Yeah, it can go back and forth all day long. You know what I mean? But that's life, you know? You might not even want to be together no more. That is cool. That is fine fucking dandy. You know? Stuff like that. But you know what? That's just life. We deal with what, what life gives us. And either we're going to stay or we're together. As a couple, we're talking about arguments. Of course. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, listen to Indisputable with Dr. Rashad Ritchie. Shot by their own landlord during an argument. The landlord killed him. Put up the picture for a mass. Hell of a story. And so sad. A young, engaged couple in Ontario shot dead by the landlord on the front lawn after an argument over mold in the basement. They were renting a home from the landlord, and according to the narrative, mold was in the basement and they confronted the landlord about it. That's normative. Carissa McDonald, 27 years of age was an educational assistant at a local school. And her 28-year-old electrician fiance, Aaron Stone, were running away from the house when they were shot to death. The couple rented the basement of a home belonging to 57-year-old Terry Gerald Brecka, who lived upstairs. The couple got into a dispute with the landlord stemming from a disagreement surrounding issues within the house, according to Detective Steve Birizik of Hamilton Police Major Crime. Let's put up the picture of the crime scene. Uh, According to the reports, there was gunfire. Authorities were called. They went to the Stony Creek District of Hamilton where the home is located around 5.40 p.m. Saturday. According to the sergeant, neither the couple nor the landlord were known to the police, which makes what happened a little bit more shocking, according to them. However, Tony Greenlee, a next-door neighbor, described the landlord as, and I quote, bad news, noting how he would often stand on top of his roof watching them. The harassment saw Greenlee build a carport to block his view. It's like we couldn't breathe in our own backyard, Greenlee told CBC News. It was, uh, I was terrified, Joanne Greenlee, Tony's wife, added, as she recalled the shooting. They could have, that could have been us. He could have gotten mad enough to actually get them uh, talking about shotguns out. I feel sorry for the young people, so young. A search of the home led to recovery of multiple legal weapons. Once again, this is in Canada. Eventually, After shooting the couple, the landlord decided to barricade himself inside of the home with weapons that he legally held. The detective said the police spent a considerable amount of time negotiating for a peaceful resolution. But he opened fire on them. This was around 10 p.m. At that point, he was shot dead. The standoff ended in an exchange of gunfire with police according to Special Investigations Unit. Once again, another uh, de- devaluation of life. There's no value to a person's life beyond how you feel about them inside of an argument. I mean, you could have just evicted them. So now you have uh, the landlord uh, who decided to basically commit suicide when he shot at the police. And you have um, two promising active, productive, and loving individuals who are dead because they complain about mold. I bring this 
to your doorstep because we can argue and debate the moment by moment or the case by case scenarios where we see permeations of evil, of bigotry, of violence. We can do that. And it's necessary, it's required in order to bring you these news stories. But there's an underlying issue behind it all. And that's how we perceive each other. How we perceive each other. And the way we perceive each other, according to psychologists, is the way we actually perceive ourselves. And so if there's a transformation dynamic, let it be that. That in order to make this world a better place for our children, our grandchildren, we have to start from inside, including me. Now you heard what he said. Now hold on, wait, wait a minute now. Hey, he got killed over a mold situation at the house because they complained they got killed over a mold situation. Now earlier, they could have, you know, resolved this, but no, that's what happened. Hey, look, check this out. This is David's love, like, subscribe, notification button. Hey, I'm out.